Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Jade Hofer from Midwest ENT. I'm one of the audiologists here. And as we all know, masks and hearing aids are causing some problems. So it's kind of a lot of things behind your ears, especially if you wear glasses as well. So I just wanted to hop on here and kind of give you some tips and tricks maybe on how to make it a little easier um, and just kind of discuss some of the options that are out there. So the first option are these mask extenders. So there's a couple of different kinds. Um, if you're into crocheting, you could make your own and then just put little buttons on the end. Um, and then I also got some silicone ones from, or plastic ones from Amazon that you could try. And I will just kind of demonstrate how those work. You just put the little button around one side of your mask here. And then you just hook the other side. So it sits back behind your head so it's not on your ears and it sits a lot nicer if you have hearing aids and it's a lot easier to not have to worry about losing that hearing aid. So these both work the same way. They're called mask extenders. We actually have some here of this kind or you can look online for some of those. Um, another option would be a mask that goes behind the head. So instead of <clears throat> tying behind your ears or instead of sitting back behind your ears, you can get a mask that sits back behind your head like this. That way you can pull it and then tie it behind your head. So that way, nothing behind your ears or anything like that. This is just another option of behind the head and it's also a clear mask. So I think Bob, one of the other audiologists may discuss clear masks a bit, but <clears throat> this is another option that you could use because this one goes back behind the head and it's also clear. So people can see your lips and you can read other people's lips if you have hearing loss and hearing aids. Um, another option that I don't have an example of would be a headband and there's little buttons on the headbands. Um, a lot of people are wearing those, so then <clears throat> when you have the mask on, you can just put the, the little loops around the headband there. Um, and then a last fun little way that you can get your hearing aids and your mask to kind of cooperate together are if you have long hair like I do, some females or males are putting their hair in little buns and then putting the mask on and putting their little loops around their buns. So that's another little fun way. Um, I haven't tried it yet because I might look a little silly here, but um, that's another fun way that you could try. And just know that we know it's tough, but keep wearing those masks.